Hey, 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 everybody, Craig back at you on the Goldwing on my way to Wingding 43 in Shreveport, Louisiana. Looking to have a good time there. You know, I enjoy Wingding. It's not one of the major rallies. It's not something that you're going to get work done on your bike. Well, very limited opportunities to get work done on your bike. I really go just for the camaraderie, just to see the other Goldwing, the other Goldwing owners, see what they've done for their to their motorcycles and uh, just be able to ride around um, in that area. So I'm looking forward to going down there and meeting up with some people and uh, got some special plans, some special stops on the way if everything works out. You know, gonna try to just make the best of this trip and uh, take you along with me. So uh, stick with me as we make our ride to Wing Ding 43. <music> Hey everybody, made it into Jeffersonville, Ohio. Not a bad ride, about 390 miles today. Stop, gonna grab myself something to eat before I head over to the hotel. Going to go to one of my favorite spots, even though I haven't been here in years. I'm gonna get me a little bit of Waffle House. Well, good morning everybody. Up and Adam, getting ready to get back on the bike and head out and continue our journey. Um, day number two on our never-ending journey to Shreveport, Louisiana, uh, to Wing Ding 43. Today, I'm looking at going to get through Ohio. I'm in Ohio now. Get through Ohio, into Kentucky, and into Tennessee. Uh, maybe a little bit of riding around in Tennessee. So that's the game plan for today. Went to Waffle House last night. Had dinner there. Eh, it was all right. Eh, not as not as well, not as good as I thought it was going to be. Is what I remember it being, but it was all right. It was good. So let me get on the bike, pack up, get my stuff, get on the bike, and uh, hit the road. All right, talk to you soon. Everybody, we are at a Bucky's in Richmond, Kentucky, I believe it is. I have never seen anything like this. This gas station is huge. I'm gonna take a walk around. Uh, un it's, it's, this is it's unbelievable. I think they have like 200 gas pumps. Unbelievable is all I can say. Let's take a walk around, see what we can see over here. This is insane. You know, I actually missed the exit for Bucky's. I had to backtrack five miles to come back here. And I was wondering whether it was gonna be worth the extra five miles. Man, it is. If you have a Bucky's, if you're around a Bucky's or you're on a road trip like I am, and you can stop at a Bucky's, I don't even care if you don't need gas. Just stop and look around. This place is very impressive. And it's great for snacks and all kinds of stuff. Hey everybody, took us a minute to get here, but look where we're at. We're at the Foothills Parkway in Tennessee. 
a stop on my way down to Wingding to Shreveport, Louisiana. I had a stop in Tennessee. So I decided I'm going to try to ride the Foothills Parkway. Um, never have been on this road before. So we'll see how it goes. I'll tell you how I feel. Um, I'm not good with curvy roads. I haven't done a lot of curvy roads from where I live. So this ought to be interesting. So let's take a ride on the Foothills Parkway. Good. Like peaches. Like, I'm just it's good. It's good though. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's good. Like 
maybe on certain nights. It'd be so, nice. Javi? Yeah. Last moon shot we got for you guys before we drink whiskey is the one that catches everyone's eyes. They're gonna be like, hey, what's that blue one up there? Can I try that one? It's bomb pop. So I'm still rocking with the ice creams that you used to get by the pool. Those red, white, and blue rocky ones, per se, is the one that's gonna taste like. Uh, if you didn't have a childhood, it's gonna taste like a blue icy. That's what it's gonna taste like. However, though, if you guys will only drink half of it, I will come back around with a little bit of lemonade. I'll show you how I like to drink. Plus, if you do it with the lemonade mixture, it doesn't turn your teeth and your tongue blue. It's just real good, and you're going to want to drink all the bottle. Yeah. So every year, I've gained about five to seven pounds. Like, it's uh, if you didn't want to do lemonade, however, there are a couple other good mixes to mix with different. it. Uh, and nothing different. Not change my diet. Really not really my exercise. Like when I exercise with it, get those electrolytes. Once a week, maybe. In case you gotta fight someone, you know, you never know. A lot better with the lemonade. Oh, yeah, let's go with the lemonade. Alright, guys. So after that, I'm gonna come by and take y'all's cups. Don't worry, though. Okay. Honey whiskey. That's for the sweet. But you are the number. It's not too bad. I'll bet the least like All right, y'all. And the last whiskey I have for you guys is going to end y'all's tasting. It's going to be black cherry whiskey, which is by far my favorite whiskey that we make in here. It is going to taste like amaretto, a little bit more stronger than the cherries and a little bit more sweeter. However, though, I added a nice little vanilla kick on the back end. Black cherry whiskey. This is cherries, right? Oh, good. Right, yeah, guys. that's good. And after that, that is everything I have for you guys. So thank y'all for coming in.